Um, hi, my name is Amanda. Um, I'm 30 years old, and um, I just want to give all the honor and glory to my Heavenly Father. And um, I just want to thank everyone here that supports this program because it didn't change my life. It gave me a life. Um, I came to this program. Um, we all know sin is sin. Um, I suffered from the sickness of sin and the aftermath of sin as a child. And um, I had to rebuke God out of my life. And when I got to the program, my mind was very damaged. My perception of life was very distraught, and my thoughts were not of reality. And it took a lot of fierce um, love and humility, and um, I'm just so thankful. Um, but when I was a young child, um, my mother was very independent, very beautiful, and um, when I was growing up, you know, I constantly witnessed her um, be beat down by the world. And um, I also had to console my mother when her face was badly broken, tears from her eyes. And how can a small child handle all this stress? You know, um, I was very small. If I can't save my mother, what's going to happen to me? And um, by the grace of God, I was adopted into a um, Catholic family. I want to thank them for sowing them seeds of faith in my heart as a small child. And um, my mother left. Um, she was never really in my life. Um, I didn't really have anybody but the words that were sown in my heart that was of Jesus. All I knew, he loved me, he saved me, you know, I mean. And um, I was very rebellious. He couldn't love me. Um, I didn't want anything to do with love. I ran from it. I didn't understand it didn't even know it existed. Um, I then eventually turned to the streets, um, and I've uh, been on the streets for a very long time. I, I started my addiction about when I was 12 years old, and it wasn't just with drugs. Self-mutilation, um, starvation, um, abuse on myself. And then I went, like I said, to the streets, it was comfortable. Um, there was a lot of anger, violence. You know, um, that's how I survived. That's how I knew what the world was. I blended in perfectly. Um, I also struggled with immorality. I was with a woman for seven years, um, and it came down to a tragic accident. It was a car accident, and her, um, my best friend, their three children, and our daughter passed away. I was the only one that was still operating, and um, I had to be there with her through all that. Um, her name was Raylan, and I stood strong once again watching another woman be beat down by the world. Um, after that, uh, we broke up, and um, I went to Georgia to be with my sister. And I uh, was so depressed. I was so lost and broken. You know, I, I gave up. I gave up. I just gave up. I, I couldn't feel. I, I shut down emotionally, mentally. More. I mean, my morals were gone. I didn't think that um, there was any hope for me, and um, I was going to kill myself. Um, I just want to thank God because um, someone ministered to me about Teen Challenge, and she's over here. Her name's Heather. Um, she's very important to me. So, um, the Lord really put a good person in my path that believes in me. Jesus does also. Um, I just want to thank Teen Challenge because when I got there, the Lord, He breathed on me with His life. He put back colors into me. Um, he put me back in harmony with his peace. Um, my whole family is here. Um, I, they're so precious to me. The Lord has opened my mind to greater things that is of him. Um, I just meditate day and night on him. Um, all the things that I search the world for can't give me what the Lord does because he, he, he gives me um, the water out of the living water fountain. It never ends. So I'm just thankful to be here. Um, I'm glad that God changed my heart. You know, and I just love the Lord. And I cannot wait for um, the outcome of this. And I just love you all.